Hey everyone, my name is Sanish Ranjan and in this video, we will be discussing how I created this amazing WhatsApp UI entirely using Jetpack Compose. So fasten your seatbelts because we're diving straight in. Now, if you were to look at WhatsApp's UI, there's not really a lot going on. There's a toolbar at the top, below which is a tab bar and to fill up the rest of the area, we have a horizontal pager with each page containing a list of items. For the cherry on top, we have a floating action button sitting at the bottom right corner complementing the whole layout. WhatsApp also features scroll to dismiss toolbar. To achieve this, I have added nested scroll connection to the lazy column using which I am determining the direction of the scroll, which in turn sets the visibility of the toolbar. The toolbar is actually wrapped inside animated visibility to make the animation more alive. Next up, we have active status, which is indicated by tiny little arcs bordering the profile picture. To achieve this, we only require the concept of circles and angles. We are using a canvas to draw these arcs around the profile picture. Now, if there's a single status set by a user, then we just draw a simple circle. Otherwise, we calculate the gap width and subtract it from the circumference of the circle and then divide the rest of the length by the number of status we need to set. With this length, we calculate the angle required to draw the arc. That's pretty much it. Now, for the best part, the custom tab bar. I know that there's a tab row available in the Jetpack Compose library. The only reason why we are not using it is because those tabs are of equal width, always. You cannot change the width of a certain tab. But if we were to look at WhatsApp screen, the first tab, the camera tab, is less wider than the rest of the tabs. This is why we need to create our own custom tab bar. To create our custom tab bar, what I have done is taken a row and added the tabs inside it. We set the required width for the fixed tabs and then use the weight modifier to fill up the rest of the area with the other tabs. We are also using the globally position modifier to calculate the position and the size of the tabs placed inside the row with which we are calculating the width and the position of the tab indicator. And that's pretty much it for this WhatsApp screen. I have linked the entire source code for this project in the description. If you want me to create Discord's UI next, be sure to leave a like, comment your suggestion for the next video, head over to my Patreon to support my channel, subscribe if you haven't already. Well, until next time, keep coding, keep creating.